Hey YouTube, it's Mark here, just going to record a Bible verse video for you this evening. Um, this one is from 1 Peter 4.1 and um, this is a particularly important verse uh, that I'm bringing to you and it is the omission of two words that completely changes the meaning of this verse in the corruptions no matter how they try and wrap it up. And um, you know, and again it's because this verse is a very important verse um, because of these two words, these two little words, critically important. So if you've got yourself a King James Bible, please just open that up, and uh, I'll just read that for you. For as much then as Christ hath suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. For he that hath suffered in the flesh hath ceased from sin. I don't know if you know which two words are missing, but that verse sounds perfect, right? Sounds absolutely perfect. And it's beautiful as well. For Christ hath suffered for us in the flesh. How great is that, right? So, and you can probably tell. Actually, you can probably tell from the video title. I don't know why I'm trying to conceal it from you anyway. But anyway, right. So, let's just take a look at this, right? Okay. Contemporary English version. Christ suffered here on earth. Now you must be ready to suffer as he did, because suffering shows that you have stopped sinning. <laughs> but have you noticed what's missing straight away? Other than the verse just sounding ridiculous anyway, but have you noticed what's missing? Christ have suffered for us. This is um you're gonna see this continue throughout all of the vid all of the verses that I talk about here. Christ have suffered for us. He suffered for us. He suffered for me, for you, for everyone. For us. CEV doesn't think so. Christ suffered here on earth. According to the CEV, and in fact all of these perversions, according to that, he just went to the cross and suffered. For no real reason. You know, maybe he was bored or something. You know, Maybe he just, uh, just had enough. Maybe he was suicidal, right? So, Christ suffered here on earth. That's what the CEV says. Whereas my holy scriptures, the true word of God, the King James Bible says, For as much then as Christ hath suffered for us in the flesh. Big difference. English Standard Version. Since therefore Christ suffered in the flesh. Footnoted. Arm yourselves with the same way of thinking, for who, whoever has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. Footnotes, 1 Peter 4, 1. Some, in other words, one, manuscripts add for us, some for you. No, no, no. One, one scripture, the preserved words of God, King James Bible, one says for us the only word of God and I'll try and play this off so footnotes again footnotes are, are Satan's yea hath God said that's what they are that's what a footnote is um, good news Bible since Christ suffered physically you too must strengthen yourself with the same way of thinking that he had because whoever suffers present tense physically, is no longer involved with sin. So not only did he just suffer physically, just, I don't know, for the fun of it, he was obviously some sort of masochist, according to the Good News Bible, apparently because whoever suffers physically in the present tense, so if I, the dental problem that I had recently, and I was suffering physically, well, apparently, I was no longer involved with sin, according to the Good News Bible. See how ridiculous that is? New International Version. Therefore, since Christ suffered in his body, that's where it ends, arm yourselves also with the same attitude, because whoever suffers, present tense, in the body is done with sin. So again, NIV reader, Jesus was just some masochist who just wanted to die on a cross. And my, my dental problem that I had... I was done with sin, according to the NIV. How about that? Message Bible. 
Since Jesus went through everything. See the insanity of that, that book? You're going through... You're go Since Jesus went through everything you're going through and more... Learn to think like him. Think of your sufferings, present tense, as a weaning from the old sinful habit of always expecting to get your own way. Who can read the Message Bible and not just like burst into laughter? It's just a joke. I mean, that's actually maybe a challenge. You know, just pick up the Message Bible and see how long you can read it without vomiting. New Living Translation. So then, since Christ suffered physical pain, stops, you must arm yourselves with the same attitude he had and be ready to suffer too. For if you have suffered physically for Christ, you have finished with sin. You know, it gets tiring reading this violence all the time. It really does. It's just a joke. And actually, um, apologies, that was footnoted as well at the very end. So anyway, they have suffered physical pain. So what, he had a headache? You know, what? Um, and at the end, it says here, rather worryingly, uh, for if you, if you have suffered physically for Christ, you have finished with sin. Footnotes, yea, if God said, in other words, for one. Or, for the one, close brackets, or one, with a capital O, who has suffered physically, has finished with sin. So they, they want to change Christ for the one, or one. Mm. wonder what that's about. New King James perversion. Therefore, since Christ suffered for us, footnote, in the flesh, <laughs> arm yourselves also with the same mind, for he who suffered in the flesh has seed from sin. Footnotes, 1 Peter 4, 1, and new text emits for us. So you read the New King James and it says for us, then it footnotes it. You know the problem with the New King James um, book is that it's like, um, you know, it's like you're going to play tennis with like uh, a good friend, right? And uh, you're really excited, he's got a great racket and uh, he's got all the gear on and he's really up for it and he seems pretty fit. You both get to the court and you bat this this ball over to him, and you, but you're waiting forever for it to come back. This is the problem with the way that the New King James is footnoted to, to to death. You know, actually that's a good point. It's footnoted to death. It's a dead book. Um, but it's like you read it and you think for a second, oh, they've got it. They've got it this time. Only for that ball to never come back. New World Translation, the Jehovah's Witnesses book, reads as follows. Since Christ suffered in the flesh, you two arm yourselves with the same mental disposition because the person who has suffered in the flesh has desisted from sins. So again, we have uh, nothing to do with for us. So according to all the new Bible perversions, 1 Peter 4, 1, Christ just suffered for no apparent purpose. Uh, as I said, he was either a masochist or suicidal, I don't know. But the, you know... He just suffered, apparently. He had a... Yeah, he suffered physically, physical pain. He went through everything you're going through and more. Um, he suffered physically, just simply suffered. Uh, suffered here on Earth. I mean, it's ridiculous. And again, this is the problem with these perversions. That's what they do. They're taking away the reason. They're taking away the de deity. They're taking away everything that matters. And 1 Peter 4, 1 is an extremely powerful yet comforting verse. Do you know how good I feel to know that Jesus Christ suffered for me? For you? For everyone? How good that makes me feel? How reassured I feel that my Lord and Saviour would do that? Suffered for us. And again, a beautiful verse like this is just torn to pieces. Just two words torn to pieces and this is the problem and again you know I, I do research I meditate I delight in the scriptures day and night Psalm 1-2 um, and it's easy for me to find these 
these corruptions, this violence that they're doing to scripture. And it's painful to see them do that. And we have to make a stand for this, guys. We have to stand up. We have to talk about it. And I know there's a few brothers, uh, you know, now there's a couple of brothers that I've seen recently but posting Bible verse videos. You know, you have other subscribers. That guy has others. We have to get this word out. We have to talk about it. So copy my videos, share, upload them. They're not, you know, protected in any way. You know, I just want to get the word out. So I just encourage you all to do it. You know, re-record the same videos, say the same things, bring up the same thing. It doesn't matter if there's two videos saying the same thing. It's more people talking about it. So just encourage you, if you have a, a heart to talk about the Bible verse um, issue, and, and trust me, it is an issue, it's an important issue, please record. Just do it. Or, you know, copy this and upload it, whatever you want to do, it's fine with me. We just need to stand for the word, stand for God, and... Um, keep talking about it so anyway um i appreciate you watching it would love to know what you think about 1 peter 4 1 i love this verse i love all verses but i love this verse because it talks about how christ suffered for us critical critical point to make about christ so anyway leave that with you thanks for watching much appreciated god bless take care